Morty, uh, I read something about microplastics, okay? They said most of it comes from land-based stuff like clothes and bags and tires, not just the ocean. But, but if it's everywhere, how do we even stop it? I don't wanna, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Calm down, Morty, you're not gonna spontaneously combust, but you could be ingesting tens of thousands of particles a year. Think fibers from your laundry, fragments from degraded packaging, even particles sneaking into bottled water. How does a species that invented antibiotics and space travel fail at not turning its food chain into a trash compactor? So what should we actually do, Rick? Ban everything? Wear tinfoil hats? Thought-provoking question, Morty. Prevention beats cleanup. Reduce single-use plastics, redesign products, improve waste management, innovate biodegradable materials, upgrade wastewater and filtration systems, and ask, are regulations and consumer behavior enough, or does the problem demand systemic change, circular economies, material science revolutions, and global cooperation? What price are we willing to pay now to avoid passing this to the next generation? That's heavy. Do you think people will change, Rick? Depends on incentives. Humans react to laws, money, and images of starving seabirds. Mix policy, tech, and shame, and maybe, or not. Either way, Morty ask more questions, read the papers, push for real solutions. If we don't, future historians will call us the Great Polymer Experiment and write footnotes about our arrogance. Wubba lubba dub dub.